Candid, a narrative-style history book focusing on individual stories, has just been released by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Church leaders and book authors hope it provides context and emotion to church history and the lives of early church members around the globe. They will find stories of sacrifice, courage, disappointment, failure, and triumph. Elder Stephen E. Snow and dozens of others have been working on the book, Saints, the Standard of Truth, for more than five years. The Saints Project has been a labor of love for many, and it's, it's really gratifying to present this volume to members of the church around the world. The new Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints history book is comprehensive, but told through personal stories. The narrative is structured around the lives and stories of real Latter-day Saints. The book introduces characters who reappear throughout the book. Church leaders, including Elder Quentin L. Cook and Elder Dale G. Renlin, say the book is for everyone, but especially for the rising generation in the church. The persecution in Missouri was just so intense, and uh, I don't think the rising generation understands uh, what 8,000 people leaving in the middle of winter, what that meant to be have an extermination order. And they say every detail and line of dialogue is backed up by historical sources. It's completely documented. If it's what it says, it's it happened, that happened. Even though it's not written in a stilted academic style, it is actually more accurate and more complete. Church leaders say despite all the sourcing, there will still be those who will question church history. There will always be uh, differences on doctrine and principles, and, and we, under, we understand that. But uh, when you see some of these things in, in context, it gives you a very, uh, very different uh, view. But for members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, they say this book will add to their faith. I think it will build faith. I think there's no question about that. When you see it in context, have greater appreciation uh, for the early saints as a group, but also for leaders. Now, this book covers the history of the church from 1815 to 1846. Other books will come out that will continue that history over the next few years. To learn more, you can check out this story on our website at goodforutah.com. We'll have links to the new history book.